Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to make the product view in our PHP e-commerce project. So let's get started with it. So previously we had made it till here. So when you select a category, you are able to view the products of it. So now when I click this product, I should be able to view the product view for each product. So we'll start with the code. And here is my products.php. So I will create a new file over here called view product or product view. You can name it anyhow product view.php. And in your products.php, you have this a tag, right? So just say product view.php and question mark say product is equal to and echo the product slug over here slug okay so you can just so now when you click on the product it will go to this page along with the product slug in the url so let's just check that refresh and you can see product view.php product slug is over here so we'll start with fetching that in the product view.php so over here you can see we have checked if a set of category right for the products page similarly for the product view we are going to check the product slug in the url so i will just copy this much paste and this part copy and run, paste okay so we require this product else we are not going to display anything in this page okay so we will just display something went wrong and say if a set of product else something went wrong so here if the product is set then we are going to fetch that say dollar product is equal to dollar underscore get off the product copy and paste so we have to check if this product is available in our database and the status is set to zero so for that we had used a function over here get slug active function along with the table name and the slug of that product so i will just copy these two lines copy and paste so instead of category it is product i'll just change everywhere product and in this get slug active we are passing the products table so we'll go to the get slug active function and here you can see we have written the query select star from table where the slug is equal to this slug and status is equal to zero limit is one so we are fetching a single record I'll just close this and it will return in this variable then i'm just fetching that single record into an array and storing it in the dollar product variable so here you can just change this variable name prod slug yeah so here we're going to check an if condition say if dollar product and in the else part you can just write this over here and if you want you can just display a specific message that product not found So let me just show you go back refresh so you can see we have this product so we are not getting anything and when you change something over here see product not found okay so if the product is found then what we are going to do is we will display the data of that product so first we'll just say dot container okay so we have to divide the php over here container row column md4 so in this column md4 we will have the product image say img src we have it inside the uploads folder right so i'll just say uploads slash your image name so that we have it in this copy and 
paste over here dollar product of image field save and in the alt you can just say product image okay add a class over here class is equal to width 100 w hyphen 100 and in the dot call md8 here we are going to display the product details so first we'll display the product name keep it in h4 and print the product name over here dollar product of name and then we'll keep a horizontal row and then the description so we'll just see how it looks refresh okay so we need the banner also for this so like we have for this we'll just copy and paste that yeah or here copy paste home collections and product name and over here give some margin top refresh so we'll just go back and we'll select the other product over here and I'll select the other product so here we have the description and this looks too huge we'll just reduce the size and put this in a p tag refresh okay now it looks good so let us check what all other fields we have so I'll just open my database so here is our database and you have the small description so first we'll display the small description copy and paste say small description and for now i'll just add a horizontal row we will have the price and all over here refresh yeah so this looks fine and after the small description we are going to divide this into two so say dot row so this is the original price rise so we want this to be striked so I will add a s tag over here paste it over here refresh so something like this so we'll just change the design a little bit dot bg light and add a class to this py4 refresh okay and we'll add a shadow to this image and we'll make this a little bit bold dot shadow okay font weight bold refresh fine and this thing will just change the color and the size so the selling price is going to be a little bit bigger and in this s tag you can just say class is equal to text danger so we are just keeping it red color and the selling price with text success that is green color control x refresh okay 
So you just make it a little bit bold. Yeah. And this is the description, right? So we'll mention it over there as a H6 description or you can say product description. And we'll add a HR. Okay, so now coming to the increment and decrement and the add to cart. So we just make that button over here. So I'll create another row over here, column MD4. And this will be for the increment and decrement. I'll just create an input box now. And in this row, margin top three. So padding X4, copy and paste. And this thing I'm just going to swap. So we'll keep the selling price first. Yeah. And we have the trending field in our database, right? So we have to display that also over here. So you have the product name over here. Just hit enter and say span. And over here, I'm going to check. Open PHP, close PHP. Say put this in a if condition. Say if product of trending so the default value is zero, and if you have checked the trending checkbox, then it will be one. So if it is true, that means you have to display echo. trending and add a semicolon over here refresh so this product is not trending let us just check for the other one here it is so we'll just push that to the end class is equal to float and add text danger refresh so here it is okay so if you want you can just add a class to this as a button or a badge so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to fetch the product view in our php project so in the next video we will be seeing how to make this increment and decrement so this will not be a direct text box we will have a plus button over here and a minus button over here so when you click the increment the value will increment over here and once you have got your desired quantity, let's say five, and you click on add to cart, this product with the quantity of five should be added to your cart. So we will see that in the upcoming videos. So that's it in this video, guys. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.